Hello, I'm here today on the Trees Estate in South Ealing, where Ealing Council is retrofitting 68 council properties. We're retrofitting these properties to make them energy efficient and this is going to contribute to Ealing's part in making the borough greener and reducing our emissions to zero by 2030. This isn't just good for the climate, it's also good for our tenants. They're going to pay much less for their heating. We estimate that people could pay up to £1,000 less for their heating every year. And it will also help with ventilation, keeping their houses cool in the summer, not just warm in the winter. They'll see their houses with triple glazing, which will cut down on noise, and will have solar panels on the roof. They'll be fully insulated, like a tea cosy put over their property. Net zero energy means that the house generates as much energy as it needs for heating, hot water, lights, and household appliances, resulting in a warm and comfortable home. This is made possible by the use of new technologies such as prefabricated facades, new smart heating and cooling installations, and insulated rooftops equipped with solar panels. After a net zero energy makeover, the house looks bright and modern from the outside and no longer has moisture or drafts inside. It's not just good for climate change, it's good for residents too. It's going to make a huge difference to many of the, our council tenants who will pay less for their heating during the year. Oh, well, but it sounds very good to me. You know, it'll save me money on my energy bills and also to make the house warmer and also it's soundproof. It's well. yeah, very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially at night when you're trying to sleep. Well, I pay monthly for my bills, or for, so it's the same throughout the year. But I never get any um, credit back on my bills, even through the summer months. So it is very expensive. And so far, everyone we've spoken to is so excited about having this work done on their property. They get that this is really important to contribute to what we're doing to cut down on harmful emissions that are wrecking our planet. But they are also really excited that they'll be paying less for their energy and they'll be living in warmer homes. cold and drafty in the winter and hard to regulate and expensive. We had gas and electricity in the house at that time. So we had both bills, both standing charges to pay. For a small house, it was very expensive to run. So we were paying bills that, would, that you would expect in a four or five bedroom detached property. We don't really have to worry about whether it's gonna be cold or hot because it automatically self-regulated. It was a no-brainer in my case because it's not costing me anything. In fact, I'm going to be saving money. So I think that all in all, it's well worth having, having done. These 68 properties have been funded partly by government, but Ealing Council has put in £3.4 million in order to make it happen. What we need is for government to give us further funding so that we can actually make a real difference. Because 68 properties is just a drop in the ocean. We have 5,000 council properties that we could do exactly the same with if only we had the money. Those residents are crying out for cheaper bills, for warmer houses and for less noise from the streets. So we want the government to help us to do that work.